Hi, this is Rich from New Life Scientific, and today we have a Med Associates stimulus response chambers for mice, and these have the lycometers and the grid switch scrambler included with them. And I'm going to move up on these units and kind of show you exactly what all they have besides that. You can see they're all identical. There's eight chambers in total. And I'll start back here. Um, you can see the speaker mounted back here on the back corner, and then there's also the controller for the speaker, and that's just one of the outputs for this chamber. And Keep in mind that all chambers are identical, so as we show you these um, options on this chamber, every single option is the same on every chamber. So there's also the, like I said, the, vo the volume control is built onto the box there where you can adjust it with a screwdriver. And then inside the chamber you can see the house light, um, that would be uh, one of the outputs also. And then you can see the gridded floor, this is a, a stimulus floor so it does um, put out shock. And then this one is also unique because it's set up to be run two different ways. Um, you do have a lickometer, of course, that can uh, monitor the amount of licks, and then you have the uh, module back here. Um, I can't quite get to it, but it's called a switch controller for the lickometer. And what that does is that you can program this to actually stimulate shocks through the grid floor or actually through the stem back there of the water bottle. So depending on which stimulus you want, it can be programmed to either do or both shocking. And then the other module over here is a little bit different. It's actually a module that you would have to unhook the lycometer module that we just showed you and then rewire it for this. And this module actually is a scrambler grid module where it takes each individual grid on the deck here and you can program it to shock um, any of these rods on this grid. And then it, that's why they, they call it the scrambler. But, like I said, you're getting all of this in this system. And then also you can see the guillotine door here. It's also an output um, on this unit. You can see the guillotine door is shut here. Uh, of course, you can hear the fans operating in the background. And we have more room for more inputs and outputs um, right now. Um, there's only five, I believe, and you can put up to eight on the output. So it is definitely expandable. And as we move over here, we're going to look at the, uh, the shock module controls right here. As you notice, there's only two here and two down here. Um, to make this system complete with eight, you'd have to add two here and two more there. The power supplies are expandable up to four modules apiece, but unfortunately it, this system only comes with four modules, two on each one. Um, if you were to want to use the stimulus shock on all eight, you would have to add those extra four modules. And then up here we're just running a, what they call a med test and it's just input output signals and we just pulled this up because uh, we're not writing any programs but I'm just going to give you a little demonstration here. Um, right now I believe um, I've got it set on the chamber that's closest to us so this one here actually turns on the current on the shock uh, control module and this dial right here would then dial up or dial down the amount of amperage that you're going to send to the grid or the, the lick stem. So that that's controlled here and then down here it's got the plug that turns it on and off with the computer controls. There's also a bypass switch right here that can be simply applied to to throw power just if you want a quick test without turning on the computer. But like I said that's throwing power over and then I'm going to go ahead and turn this one on. You might have heard that. That's actually the speaker that was just turned on up here. Like I said, we can turn the volume up or down on that control box there. I'm going to go ahead and turn the speaker back off here. See that shut off. And then these other ones here, like I said, that one there is the guillotine door. I just heard it open. And number two is the switch that would throw the shock to the floor. And then number one, we'll come back over here. You can see the house light is on. The guillotine door is open. We did, we did turn the speaker back off because it gives off too much noise for the video. And you can see the green light down there is also on and then also the switching for the lickometer is turned on too back there. So all the outlets are all turned on at this point and all operating fine. Like I said, we did go through this whole system and it's really a nice system. Um, really the only flaw that we've really seen is in the plexiglass here where the rods are inserted. We just have a um, some cosmetic uh, stress cracks in these 
and it doesn't affect the function of it at all. Um, but uh, that's about all um, the flaws we've really seen. Um, there is a lot of wiring. Um, you will need to know a little bit of programming on this software to uh, do your tests, but definitely a really nice system. We have eight cha chambers in total. Um, we are willing to split the system in half um, where we could sell four chambers and one of the shock module power supplies. And then you'll also receive um, all the cards, the input and output cards here. Um, right now, we're including it with the software computer as a complete system. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show you the software over here. So we've got MedPC4. Um, there's no programs in here. It's pretty much just blank. This is where you'd start in, in building your programs. Um, we haven't went that far. We're just basically testing the equipment. Um, but uh, for those who would love to build a program and run your experiments, this would be an awesome uh, piece of equipment to do that with. Um, but uh, like I said, it's a beautiful system. It came out of a pharmaceutical company that we buy a lot of equipment from. If you have any questions, give us a call here at New Life Scientific. Thank you for watching.